HZ1 Aero Cycle The HZ1 Aero Cycle, also known as the EHO2, and by the manufacturer's designation DH4 Helivector, was an American one-man personal helicopter developed by DeLackner Helicopters in the mid-1950s. Intended to be operated by inexperienced pilots with a minimum of 20 minutes of instruction, the HZ-1 was expected to become a standard reconnaissance machine with the United States Army. 2. Lockheed XFV the American Lockheed XFV, sometimes referred to as the Salmon, was an experimental tailsitter prototype aircraft built by Lockheed in the early 1950s to demonstrate the operation of a vertical takeoff and landing fighter for protecting convoys. 3. Vought V-173 the Vought V-173 flying pancake designed by Charles H. Zimmerman was an American experimental test aircraft built as part of the Vought XF-5U flying flapjack World War II United States Navy fighter aircraft program. Both aircraft featured an unorthodox all-wing design consisting of a flat, somewhat disc-shaped body serving as the lifting surface. Two piston engines buried in the body drove propellers located on the leading edge at the wingtips. 4. The Tacit Blue The Northrop Tacit Blue was a technology demonstrator aircraft created to demonstrate that a low observable stealth surveillance aircraft with a low probability of intercept radar and other sensors could operate close to the forward line of battle with a high degree of survivability. 5. Stipe Caproni the Stipa Caproni was an experimental Italian aircraft designed in 1932 by Luigi Stipa and built by Caproni. It featured a hollow, barrel-shaped fuselage with the engine and propeller completely enclosed by the fuselage. In essence, the whole fuselage was a single ducted fan. 6. Mil V-12 the Mil V-12, NATO reporting name Homer, remains the largest helicopter ever built. The designation V-12 would have been the name for the production helicopter and was not applied to the V-12 prototypes. 7. XF-85 Goblin the McDonnell XF-85 Goblin was an American prototype fighter aircraft conceived during World War II by McDonnell Aircraft. It was intended to be deployed from the bomb bay of the giant Convair B-36 bomber as a parasite fighter. The XF-85's intended role was to defend bombers from hostile interceptors, a need demonstrated during World War II. Two prototypes were constructed before the program was terminated.